All right, so here's the solar setup. This is I just installed this today. This solar panel, I have two, two of the same actually. The other one's on the chicken shed. Um, so this is uh, three panels put together in series. Um, they are 30 watts a piece, so 90 watt panel. They're in series so that I uh, raise the voltage. Um, you don't get as much uh, amperage. Uh, however, I have an MPPT controller, maximum power point tracking uh, solar charge controller. And it makes more efficient use of uh, the voltage uh, going to the battery. So it takes as much voltage as you can give it. My charge controller is an EP Solar uh, RN2215, I believe, 2215 RN. It uh, accepts up to 150 uh, volts, I think. Um, so I could put another panel in series here uh, and not max out uh, the voltage. Uh, you know, that's putting these these three together put out about 65 volts or something, about uh, 20 20 volts each. But uh, when the sun's out. That number's um, back and forth all over the place. So about 60 volts um, it puts out. So I do have some room. I'll have to check that. Maybe it's only 100 volts. Um, anyways, uh, I could probably put another panel on there. So this is uh, this is mobile. I just have it on a 2x2 two two wood rack. All wired up there. And I have it on about a, a 20 foot or 15 foot... Uh, cord. It's not solar panel cord or anything. It's just regular household cord. It's big enough for the amperage that I'm putting through it. Now if we go into here, I'll show you the battery. Now the camper is off grid right now. This light I'm turning on, 100 watt bulb is being powered from the battery that I'm going to show you. So I got my Nautilus um, AGM 90 amp hour uh, battery in there. Um, that's a new one from Canadian Tire. And then on the bottom is a 1200 watt inverter that I got inside um, a Xantrex uh, battery pack generator box thing. Uh, I got that for 30 bucks. 1200 watt, 30 bucks. It gives you some options here. I showed it to you before in a YouTube video, but there's an on-off switch, and then there's a a battery uh, tester light too. Uh, but I've got a, a better display to to show the uh, how much power is left in the bat in the battery. And then screw to the door. This this door closes up, so it's nice and clean. If the kids are in here, I'm gonna be running the wire that that's the wire from the solar panel. I'm gonna be running that uh, through the outside of the camper once I get that piece done. Anyways, this is the EP Solar uh, MPPT charger. Um, when the doors close, it's in its upright position so that the uh, the heat fins uh, do vent properly. Although when I'm running it, uh, these never get hot anyways. I'm not putting a lot of power through this thing. Um, so it's doing okay. I'm not... I don't have it plugged into um, the the light bulb option here. This is for powering, uh, this is the 12 volt DC. If you have stuff uh, plugged in through that, say the inverter, then um, this unit would show you um, the amps being drawn from it and, and track that, record kilowatt hours and all that good stuff. Problem is, <clears throat> the 1200 watt inverter would suck so much juice through it in terms of amperage. Um, it, it's only got up to 20 amps I think through that um, so I, I have the inverter plugged directly to the battery and that's the better way to do it in terms of current draw. Um, so that's that, 90 amp hour. And then I just have it, uh, I have it back feeding into my camper AC um, through the cable there that you see. It runs there and it runs back up to the Runs back up to my my breaker box there. The breaker box, of, of course, goes out to the three prong plug. Let me get a light here. 
so it it goes out the three prong plug so technically the the end of the three pl prong plug is uh, live right now uh, which obviously uh, is dangerous <laughs> but I have it taped up um, it's I need to get a breaker in there to totally cut off uh, the inverter power when not needed and do something about that but anyways for now it works and I don't anticipate plugging it in anyways because uh, I got my solar power so it may be fine as is so yeah got that wired up it's back feeding works perfect um, what else was I going to show you? Oh, and I'll turn that light off because we don't need that. So yeah, that shuts up nice and neat uh, when I get the cord run properly. And then I did get the meter with the uh, EP Solar unit. Um, so, and this actually, I'll show you the back of it. I just I drilled out the back of it. So that it would just sit nicely in there. The back of it's round, actually, um, so that you can cut a round hole. I just use a, a one of those cutting drill bits, uh, sunk that in, and did the circle, outlined it, and disconnected back to the uh, MPPT charge controller. Screwed it in, and it looks like it was meant to be there. So now our camper looks like a fancy modern camper with a full battery system and solar system ready to go. So this is what you've seen before. I've done other videos on EP Solar. Um, but yeah, that is my camper off-grid system. Works great. Um, as I'm sitting down at the, uh, the kitchen table here, I can see the uh, power my solar panel is generating. So my solar power now, it's 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 later evening, 8, 8 p.m. or something, um, and it's uh, drying in 23 volts. So the sun's going down, but it's uh, fully uh, it, making use of that 23 volts, putting 12 volts or 13 into the battery, using the rest of the voltage to, um, uh, it's converting the rest of the voltage into amperage, uh, which is the whole point of the NPPT controller. So you see my battery is at 12.8 volts there, basically zero amps going in there's there's hardly it's milliamps basically uh, that's going into it right now and then on the light bulb setting if I did have something plugged into the, that other part I showed you um, it would show the draw there um, I'm gonna get a, a, a secondary uh, watt meter um, that I can hook up to the AC over by my breaker so that I can record um, the wattage uh, that, that I'm using and that's kind of the workaround. I wish I could put the inverter through the controller but it simply can't handle the amperage uh, if I were to start using 1200 watts you know, of its power. Um, so I'll go that route and that'll work um, and this unit will just charge it. Uh, I can hook up uh, a DC uh, socket for example so that you can plug in uh, your standard lighter uh, type accessory um, and then it would show the uh, the water or the the amperage through there yeah show the the volts and the amps there but it works as is it tells me when it's charging that charge light will go off when it's not charging um, and otherwise I'm excited I'm just gonna use this um, when I can I can use the outside plugs when I'm at home and I don't want to plug into the house I can I have full off grid here so I can run an extension cord from my solar camper into our house and power any uh, critical hardware that way so I'm excited about it and that is my off grid camper mostly complete no I don't live in it like uh, a lot of videos I've seen on YouTube, uh, but it should be a fun experiment when we actually go camping with it and uh, see how it does. That's my solar camper.